Why are we still trying to please people rather than God? Why are Christians bowing their knees to the golden image of social acceptance? Why are the churches opening their doors for Sodom and Gomorrah to come in and have their way with the things of God? Why are we still offering our kids to the bells of Hollywood just to keep them entertained? Has not God spoken? Has he not caused his word to fill the earth? Where are the sons and daughters of God? John the Baptist was raised in the wilderness. He was filled with the Holy Spirit to preach a message of repentance and salvation through Jesus Christ. He didn't live to please people. He didn't even live to please himself. The man literally ate locusts and honey. His job was to lift up Jesus Christ. His passion was to point people to Jesus Christ. And his purpose was to prepare the way of the Lord. This whole world is a wilderness. This world is a spiritual desert. The people look okay on the outside, but they are spiritually dead on the inside. Yet Jesus came to raise us up from the dead through his resurrection. God said, I was looking for a man who would make a wall and stand in a gap before me on behalf of the land that I should not destroy it. But I found none. But Christians, we were born again to stand in the gaps, to stand for the truth of God's word, live righteous lives and preach the gospel to the world. We are called to be watchmen and women on the walls of this world, to pray that God intervenes against the spiritual wickedness that we see. But the rocks will cry out if we don't open our mouths. The rocks will cry out if we don't preach the gospel. The rocks will cry out if we are too afraid to be Christians in the wicked and adulterous generation. I have a word from the Lord today. It's time to prepare the way of the Lord in our hearts. It's time to prepare the way of the Lord in our homes. It's time to prepare the way of the Lord in our churches. And it's time to prepare the way of the Lord in the earth because Jesus Christ is coming back and he's coming back soon. When John prepared the way of the Lord the first time, the people of the world didn't understand. When Jesus comes in the rapture, most people still won't get it, but you'll be ready. The angel Revelation chapter 22 verse 11 said, Let the one who does wrong still do wrong, and let the one who is filthy still be filthy, and let the one who is righteous still practice righteousness, and let the one who is holy still keep himself holy. Then in Revelation chapter 22 verse 12 through 13, Jesus said, Behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to reward each one as his work deserves. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Listen, the demonic forces will continue to speak through the children of the devil to demonize the righteous, and all of us who desire to freely live godly lives will be hated by the culture of this generation. In fact, Jesus said, the whole world will hate you because of me. But... Greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. The Bible says that the righteous are as bold as lions. Jesus says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt us. Wake up, O sleeper, and rise from the dead, because the day of the Lord comes as a thief. Every valley shall be raised up, and every mountain and hill will be made low, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. Prepare the way of the Lord.